So in this video, I am going to conquer a huge question on routers that I get all the time. How to set depth properly, whether using it on the Festool guide rail, just freehanding it, or using it on your slab stitcher. I'll go through the tips and tricks of setting depth on any router. Okay, so let's start first by setting the depth without any templates or any guide rails. So what I wanna teach you is simple. You need to zero out your router, okay? We need to create space in our depth stop rod and our turret here. So what we're gonna do is if I take this and I have this bit in here and I lock it down, okay? Now, if I release the rod here and it goes to my last stop, Okay, I zero it out on there. I take my scale, this may be up here, I zero that out. And then I take my micro adjust and I make sure zero is lined up. This is ball detented. Okay, now if I lock that depth stop rod in the, like that and I started up the router and plunged, I wouldn't cut into anything. So what I gotta do is I gotta make space in between there. Now there's an easy way and a hard way, <laughs> okay? And I'm gonna go over both. If I release this right here, I can look at this scale. I'm gonna bring this over so we can get this. And this scale, I wanna go 10 millimeters. I don't pick it up from here. I'm actually moving the rod up to 10 millimeters and I lock it in. Okay, now, what, here that's, for me, I'm using a scale, I'm using my eye. What if I wanna go down five millimeters? Could I use a scale? Absolutely, but I like to use something I know is daggone, dead on, what, five millimeters, a domino. So if I take that and put it right in between there and lock it in, I know it's five millimeters. And what if I gotta go nine millimeters? I don't have a nine millimeter domino, I take a five and I take a four and I put it in there. I use the dominoes as gauge blocks. Okay, now you can get gauge blocks in Imperial or uh, metric from whoever you want. And I always suggest have a set of gauge blocks to set depth. Okay, but here in lies the situation you have. I have set up the router for depth without incorporating the thickness of my guide rail or what if I wanna inlay this sedge bell with a slab stitcher system, okay? If I went like this, watch, with a slab stitcher and went like that, this wouldn't work, do you know why? You have to set the depth, check this out, while it's on the template. So if I take this, I'm just gonna take this out, and when I set it up, see look, see the difference in here? Hopefully you can get this, Chris. If I would have set that right up on the wood, it wouldn't have worked. But if when I set it up on the template and then zero it out, check this out, I can take this sedge bell, I can loosen my depth set rod, set it like this. Now here comes the really cool part about micro adjust. When I take that out, I wanna leave that a little bit proud so I can sand it flush. Okay, so if I look at the scale here, this is ball detent, and now I can move it up and down. So when I go down in the scale or descend in the scale, look, nine, eight, seven. Each one of those is a tenth of a millimeter. And look, I can't get that sedge bell in there. So that's gonna give me three tenths of a millimeter shallower uh, inlay groove. So guess what? That'll stick 0.3 millimeter high. So what I like to do is just tune it, uh, tune it to like uh, 0.1 millimeter. That way there I don't have a lot of sanding. So that's the first one. I've run into this situation a lot over the years when the router works on a guide rail. Now you gotta set up a guide stop so it runs parallel on the rail and I've knocked out the slop in here to do this. What you need to do is when you set the depth, and I put this on here like this, the router rides partially on the rail and you lock it in here. Now, this has a tendency to tilt, so come over here, Chris, so we can see this. This support bracket, if I bring it down here like this, this brings it in the same plane. Now, I can set my depth. Over the years, I've learned that the thickness of the rail, I could add five millimeters and I'd be daggone right on there because combined with the aluminum, the splinter guide, and there's a slight crown on this PFTE strip. It adds up to five millimeter. I'm gonna lock it in here. 
and I'm gonna go down five millimeter. I go to my last stop. I don't need to micro adjust. I just take it like this. I'm gonna go in five millimeter and I'm ready to go. Now, that's as simple as it gets. So hopefully you found this video helpful, whether working with the Festool system, the slab stitcher system, and setting your router depth. And as we always wrap up, be positive and stay sharp.